Ano ai me ke aloha. O vau o Hi'ilani Shibata. My name is Hi'ilani Shibata, and I'm honored to share with you the mo'olelo hina hanai a kamalama. Hina reaching for the moon, taking care of all of us in the full moon. This story was chosen to be the cover of our calendar. Hina was a kapa maker, and every morning she woke up before the sun rose to beat her kapa. Kuku e kuku hoi, kapa kanoi ka uali ili, ahu kanaka ahu hoi, ahu ahu i kamahana o kala. She would look up at the sun and ask the sun to warm her kapa so as she beat it. It would be nice and even. Every day she worked tirelessly to satisfy the wants and needs of her husband. You see, he demanded kapa from her every day so that he could take it and give it to those around them so that they would bless them with food and fish and what have you. So every day he asked her for more and more kapa. She would beat the kapa all the way until the sun set in the horizon. Well, one day, as she was beating her kapa, she looked up at the sun, and she realized, "Let me pray to my gods." She needed more from this life than always beating the kapa. So she pulled, prayed to her gods, and she asked them for help. So as she prayed. This beautiful rainbow appeared, and she realized this is her chance. She's gonna climb up the rainbow and go to the sun. So she gathered her things and she climbed up the rainbow. And as she got closer to the sun, it warmed her skin and felt so good. As she got closer to the sun, that warmth started to burn her skin. But she thought to herself, "I can make it." So she climbed even farther and farther up the rainbow, until finally she couldn't stand the burning of her skin, and she fell back down to the earth. Her husband was standing there, and started to laugh at her. Oh, you silly woman! How could you think that you could go to the sun? Look at your skin; it's all burnt. And he walked away laughing. She gathered some lao, some medicine, took care of her wounds. And rested that evening. The next morning, she rose before the sun rose, beat her kapa, and just thought to herself. As the sun started to set, she realized that there was this beautiful full moon rising. And she thought to herself, maybe the moon is where I should be. So she prayed to her gods again. And as the moon rose, a moon bow appeared. And if you've ever seen a moon bow, it's a white rainbow, just this beautiful silky white color, with colors of the rainbow. She gathered her things, and she started to slowly climb up the moon bow. And her skin started to feel really good. As she got closer to the rainbow, she could feel this energy. Just encompass her, but then all of a sudden, she couldn't move. She looked down, and her husband had followed her, and he had her foot in his grasp. They struggled and struggled, and she realized that she still had to sacrifice part of herself. So she let go her foot, and he fell down to the earth. Her foot landed in this soft bed of earth. And it turned into a sweet potato plant. The name of the sweet potato plant is Hau Lani. Still, she sacrificed to feed us. As she got closer into the moon, that energy encompassed her whole body, and she was able to step into the moon and become Hina Hanai Akama Lama. When you see that full moon rising. You can see her sitting there, happily beating her kapa, and those wispy clouds on the side of the moon is her highest 
most beautiful kappa hanging to dry, which is called Kilohana. This story really reminds us of the value perseverance. In Hawaiian, it's called Kamau, never give up. In the story, we see Hina go to the sun, and even when she's hurt, she doesn't give up. She covered her wounds, and when the moon bow appeared, she tried again, and she succeeded. So we need to remember Kamau, perseverance, never give up. Mahalo.